We have been taking a journey with Joseph here for the last eight or nine days, and today we're actually going to go with him into Egypt. In chapter 38 of Genesis, nothing happens, and they don't even talk about Joseph. But in chapter 39, it picks back up, and we find that he has been sold into slavery from the Ishmaelites to Potiphar, who is the chief guy. He is the main, he's the number two in command in all of Egypt. And there's an interesting thing that takes place because as we find out this background, the very next verse, it says, and the Lord was with Joseph. Now, if you're thinking like I'm thinking, I'm thinking how in the world could you possibly say that the Lord is with Joseph? He's a bragger. He's a dreamer. His brothers hate him. They plot to kill him. They throw him into a well. They pull him out. They sell him into slavery. And it says the Lord was with Joseph. How could that be? Well, in your darkest time and in my darkest time and in the struggles that we have, do we even look to recognize God in those moments? Do we look to find God in those moments? Or do we get so taken aback and so tied up in a knot that we just can't even see Him? And if all you have is Him at that time, you have to know that that is enough. It's a struggle. I've been there. Trust me. I'm even kind of there right now. We've all been there. It's okay. It's then that you have to take the time and everything you have and give it over to the Lord and know that He is with you and He is with me and He is with those that He loves just as we love Him. And we'll see you tomorrow.